And here we are, with an episode that left me confused. Hello, I'm Lux. And I'm Ember. And this is our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 22. Uh, is it about Discord? What about Discord? <laughs> My brain just broke. I had it just a second before I said it. <laughs> Oh, what about Discord? Apparently, I should record my take first. And this is our thoughts on My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic, Season 5, Episode 22. What about Discord? What's really funny is I actually said that particular phrase in our last recording. <laughs> but what about Discord? And at first, I thought this episode was going to be an answer to that question. Mm-hmm. And then I just sat there confused, especially, it's like, I think it was a combination of the title doesn't fit the episode. You know, what about Discord? What about Discord? It wasn't about Discord at all. <laughs> Discord was part of it, yes, but it was more about Twilight um, learning to admit that you can be jealous even if you are the princess of friendship, which doesn't make any sense. This whole episode just confused me. It's like, it's not that it's a bad episode because there was plenty of enjoyable parts. Lots of good references, as usual, in a Discord episode, but I'm just sitting there at the end of the episode going, Okay. Okay. <laughs> now, this was really a Twilight episode, not a Discord episode. And when we first saw that Twilight was going to be rearranging her library that she had just rearranged, I thought we were back on the whole I'm the princess of friendship and the table tree castle map isn't sending me anywhere I'm obviously worthless line not ooh this is something that I actually want to do and I spent three days inside doing it and having fun I don't even think you would have fun organizing your library especially with that many books have you not seen me organize my library I need to do it again soon because some of the newer volumes are just getting shelved. <laughs> uh, apparently, my friend is my own personal Twilight. <laughs> <laughs> and you are surprised by this how? Not really. Not really surprised at all. It's just like, huh, I didn't realize it extended that far. Because <laughs> I like organizing and all, but that, that library was huge. <laughs> That's why she needed three days, and that's part of why my place isn't as organized as it could be, because I would want to do it all in one sitting. And most of the time, there's this thing called real life. Oh yeah, that pesky thing that keeps propping up. Kind of like Mother Nature. So, back to the episode. So, Discord had fun with five of the main six who apparently now all get along with them. Yes, and I actually want to see this episode. <laughs> I should say I want to see their escapades as an episode, because that would be nice. <laughs> well, we got to see large parts of it reenacted. Yeah, but they glossed over a lot, too, so you didn't get the gist of what was going on. Well, the jokes may not even make sense in context, <laughs> because they may not have come up with the proper context for them, because, oh, this is stuff that's happening off screen. We need people to not get it, because Twilight's not getting it, and that's the pony we want everyone to identify with this episode. Mm. As I said before, I just found this episode confusing. Um, I think the main reason I was confused is because Twilight was confused, and they never resolved that confusion for me, so I just remained going, what the heck is going on? <laughs> well, a lot of it made sense, except for the whole, I'm the princess of friendship, I can't possibly be jealous. Why not? I think the only thing that my brain really latched onto is, I think, this episode's actually giving hints for stuff that's going to happen in the finale. Because there was way too much mention of time travel in this episode for it to be a coincidence. Um, this episode could have been intended to air closer to, oh, I don't know, Back to the Future Day? Mm, that too. I mean, considering Pinkie Pie's outfits. Mm -hmm. And Discord's outfit. He actually wore dark brown science outfit at one point and had the kind of white fluffy hair. Mm -hmm. And then I believe his name's Bob Ross, the famous painter who had a um, show on, I think it was PBS for a while, where he just showed you how to paint. Happy little tree. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to watch that as a kid. Don't think I ever watched it at all. I'm a more drawing, painting, art-centric person here. <laughs> well, yes, but, you know, when we're kids, 
They want all of us to draw. They're like, here, draw something, paint something. Here's a coloring book. As long as it's not the walls or the carpets or the mm -hmm. ceilings. How the hell did he get that on the ceiling? <laughs> and then when you get older, they're like, oh, no, you don't need art classes. Do something practical. You just spent my entire childhood telling me to do art. And now you're telling me not to do art. <laughs> Yep, let's cut recess. Let's cut all the um, art programs. Oh, wait, we're getting political. Moving on! <laughs> <laughs> but that was kind of an old reference, because who in the theoretical target demographic of young girls knows who that painter is? Mm. Well, there has been a marathon going on recently mm. that they could have known was coming up, so... And we see Twilight go a little crazy again, going to Zakor and going... The only possible explanation for this is that he has them under a spell. How is that the only possible explanation? And, okay, so you're the princess of friendship, but let's not forget that out of the elements of harmony, you were the element of magic slash friendship. So if it was a magic spell, shouldn't you have been able to find a counter spell in the library you just reorganized? And saved several milliseconds of time finding a book with. <laughs> mm-hmm. And what did Zakora actually give Twilight? Because obviously it wasn't a potion. I think it was um, based on Pinkie Pie's reaction. Tasty and maybe a little um, alcoholic. Possible. <laughs> uh, even though they wouldn't ever directly say that in My Little Pony. <laughs> no, but things can be heavily implied. And back to Zakora. Oh my god, Zakora! <laughs> it's nice to see her again. <laughs> Yes, but really, the cauldron's just for show? We've seen previous episodes where you've actually brewed things in that cauldron. I think she meant at that particular time it was just for show. She was probably working on something else, like, I don't know, dinner? <laughs> or the classic Scooby-Doo one. It's my laundry. <laughs> yes, because ponies have a ton of laundry. <laughs> We've seen Zakora in a dress once. Yes, I know there are linens, etc. Still. And what is with Discord picking on Twilight and only Twilight? I think he's trying to be like a Celestia slash like mentor thing because he thinks he has to be or he was told to be. And he's not quite doing it right because his plan always works, but it's, it usually backfires in his face a little bit. <laughs> But we also see that happen when he wasn't specifically picking on Twilight when they were at the ball and his plan kind of backfired on him. You know, the plan to make Fluttershy jealous. So to me, that points away from Celestia and or Luna or even Cadence having given Discord a direction or a suggestion to place friendship obstacles in Twilight's path. Hmm. And even if he was only doing it to be a jerk in season three, was season three, season, f I'm losing count, the episode um, where he crashed Twilight's time with Cadence, by the season finale where she pulls the hero's gambit and surrenders not just on her pony friend's behalf, but includes Discord in that, you know, if Discord's doing this just to be a jerk, he should be over it by that point, because he was genuinely touched by her actions at that point. Hmm, so it might be him trying to be helpful, not, well, succeeding, but not in a kind way, I should say. Yeah, I think some of his um, prior Reformation tendencies tend to uh, seep through, because he does point out that, yes, this made Twilight feel bad, and, oh, that's something my old self would have done. Mm-hmm. I love how the old self is the classic metal dramatic villain <laughs> with the mustache and everything. Right. I mean, the overall lesson I think was important, just not the way they phrased it. Hmm. So what do you think the overall lesson was? Because I was confused. <laughs> well, their whole thing was on jealousy and friendship and friends having fun without each other. I think it builds more off of Discord's last lesson with Fluttershy that it's okay to have different friends and different kinds of friends. Just because you're friends doesn't mean you have to do everything together. Mm. You know, Twilight had a wonderful time on her three-day book rearranging spree. She was thrilled with it up to the point 
that she found out her other friends had fun without her. Hmm, what was she doing? She was having fun without her other friends. Pot calling kettle. <laughs> Which could have actually happened in this episode because Discord. True. Uh, it's like magic or it's Discord or Pinkie Pie. It's kind of like, how did he do that? He's Discord and stop asking questions. <laughs> so do you want to move on to wrapping things up? Um, just have to go back one second when they were trying to recreate the lunch. From the moment Twilight said, you know, that one variable could throw the whole thing off, I'm like, ugh, we're going to have to get around to the point where, Twilight, you are a variable because you weren't there and you're going to have to get your snout rubbed in that. Mm, I didn't even think of that until they brought it up. No, because it's a theory that the mere act of observing a situation alters the situation. Uh, well, my final thoughts on the episode are, it's good, but it left me very confused and more of a meh feeling. <laughs> like I said, there were parts I liked, it's just the overall lesson seemed very muddied and very confused. It's like the episode was just... Going through the motions, I think, is the best way to put it. And the story didn't really seem that connected, as it were. Though I liked all the references, and there might be hints for future episodes in this episode, which is kind of nice, because continuity! Yes, continuity is nice, and you know, we're already up to episode 22, so finale's not really that far away. So, I mean, it was a fun enough episode, because Discord. But the overall layout and the goal of the lesson felt a bit muddied and it very much felt like discord was very deliberately trying to rub twilight's face in all of this because it could have just been a very casual thing but he had to show up everywhere that she went until she was like okay what happened on this three-day weekend that i missed Especially when the whole thing was pointed out that Discord specifically said, don't invite Twilight. She's doing her book organizing. Which, you know, in a way seems courteous of don't bother someone when you know they have plans. But the flip side, don't deliberately exclude someone because you think they might be busy. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our thoughts on My Little Pony, French Biz Magic, Season 5, Episode 22. What about... Discord. Thanks for listening. If you like Lux's art, you can find more of it on DeviantArt and Tumblr. Really enjoy listening to us blather on? Try subscribing. Also, comment sections there. Please be nice. Really, really like Lux's art? He does take commissions. And also has a Patreon. All links in the description.